welcome back to my channel just Janine happy 4th of July happy birthday America and number one happy birthday to my mom today is her birthday big 71 years old she probably mad because I just said that but that's all right it's a blessing to see that many years so shout out to my mom happy birthday mama happy birthday I am on my way to Kroger's. I'm just getting some last minute things. I actually have to pick up my mom's cake. So I called ahead. They're supposed to be ready at noon, but I was hoping they would have it ready a little bit sooner because the cake lady actually made the cake today. She came in today. I actually put the order in a few days ago, but she was able to do it today and it's done. So I'm on my way to pick up the cake. I got to pick up a couple items. Um, I'm, we're doing a money tree for my mom. So I gotta get some things to kind of spruce it up a little bit because it looks a little raggedy right now. So she's gonna have a money tree. So instead of doing gifts, which you know people can still give, do gifts as they want to, but instead of doing gifts, I, I um, suggested a money tree. So the money we would have spent on the gift anyway, we can just, you know, get her, put the money on the tree. So I'll show that to you when I get home. Um, what else I got to do? I got to get, got a list uh, somewhere. But yeah, just, just a couple things just to kind of get this day started that I, I, I got to get out, out of the way. Uh, of course, I got to get some money to put on the money tree. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope y'all are having a happy and safe 4th of July. Y'all, please be safe. I know it's a lot going on. People out on the roads, uh, people shooting fireworks. So just please be safe. Please be careful. You know, just, you know, watch out for others. Just be mindful of what you're doing like I'm not doing right now. So don't try this at home if you're a vlogger. <laughs> So I'm hoping I don't get caught by the police because I'm vlogging, but yeah, it is what it is. Let me tell y'all what's going on with my air. So I, I told y'all the last video that my air had went out and it went out and I called the guy, he came out, fixed it and it worked for a week. It went out again yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And I was so mad because I was like, oh no, not again. We're not going to go this 4th of July or any day without any air. So I called the guy and he's talking about some, want to charge me again, $99 for re-diagnosing it and 170 something to fix the part. So I didn't understand that. But I was like, I'm not shelling out any more money, you know, to get this, this, this problem corrected. This is crazy. And I was like, you know what? I'll just tinker with it until I figure out what's going on. I'll just, I'll just troubleshoot it myself. So I got home last night and I left it off before I left the house. I just turned it completely off. Um, Cause I thought maybe it probably could have overheated itself for all I know. So I did and it actually came on. So I was happy about that. But I was like, I know this guy. And then on the whole phone call, he was so unprofessional. He was hiccuping during the whole call. Well, you know, well, well, I could be. It's gonna cost you nothing. Apparently, this is supposed to be a rainy 4th of July. It's cloudy. Um, the sun peeks out every now and again, but it's it's pretty cloudy. So I'm on my way to Walmart because I got to get a couple things. And then I'm headed to Kroger's. And, um... And then back home because I got to cut up the tomatoes and the in the onions for um, we're actually having two uh, celebrations or um, get-togethers. One at my grandma's house um, where all of my family gets together, and we're gonna have a barbecue Fourth of July celebration there at one o'clock. And then the celebration for my mom is gonna be at two thirty, which she just lives right down the street. So we're gonna be at two different places. So. I think I got time to get everything accomplished. It's only, I think it's just 11 something. Let me see. Yeah, it's 1046. So yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get everything done and, and completed um, before before time. Well before time, I'm hoping. It's very humid. I haven't really did much to my hair. It's very humid. Um, I just put some water in it, spruced it up a little bit. And that's about it. So I just came out of Kroger's to get my cake and needless to say, I was very upset. 
because I specifically told the guy what type of cake, how I wanted the cake to look. I asked for the piping that they usually put around the cake to be to alternate red and blue or red and white. I forgot the colors, but it was red, red and blue actually around the cake. I get the cake and the writing is correct on there. The writing is correct on the cake as far as what I wanted on the cake, but he did not. The cake was just white. It was just solid white. And he asked me spe uh, specifically if I wanted the, the colors alternating around the cake. Well, he didn't write it down. And then the lady looks at me like I'm the crazy one. I she hands me the cake and I go, mm, that ain't right. And she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, it's supposed to be alternating red and blue around the cake. And she's like, well, he didn't write it down. Never, and at no point did she apologize at all. At no point did she say, I'm sorry, you know, let me go back here and fix it. Something. She could have just went over on top of it. Mm -mm. So she says, well, let me, she says, I could put some red and blue streamers on it, around it. I was like, okay, well, I really have no choice because my mom's birthday is today. Her party is today. So she put some streamers on it. I'm still mad about this cake because it's not what I paid for. It's not what I wanted. It's not how I wanted to look. Because the guy did not write down all the stuff that was supposed to be written on the cake. So she just goes, she hands me the cake, hands me the cake back, and then she proceeds on to work on what she was working on. No apology whatsoever. I will never let this Kroger's make my cake again. Never. I'm back at home now, and I'm gonna show y'all this cake. First of all, let me show y'all something. I got something added to my kitchen. Let me let y'all see. I got a little island. Let me show y'all the front of it here. Yes, yes, give it up for the island, yes. So the top of it, let me move some of this stuff out the way. So the top of it is wooden. As y'all can see, it's a wooden, and it's got a granite um, cutting board right here. And got my paper towel here, and I got a cabinet here. I got to fix the door because the, the screws are not as tight. And I got four drawers here. Four drawers, got me some spoons. And, and then you got your rack here for your towel. Excuse the Christmas towel, that's all I can find right now. And then your spice rack. Yes. So it's a nice fit for my kitchen. Just an, it's black. Um, the, the, the island is black to kind of go with the black stove, the black refrigerator, the black uh, microwave and dishwasher that I have there. So as you can see there, yeah, nice little accent there. So I just want to show y'all that just so, in my little rug that I got to go with it. I think it added a nice little homely touch uh, to the kitchen and also give me some added space. I did need some added space for my, um, cause I, I feel like my cabinets were just getting too junky. Uh, what stuff I need to do and put up there. So this is just some added space. So let me show y'all this cake before I put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so first of all, they did put the writing on here that I wanted them to put, celebrating 71 years, happy birthday, mom. But do y'all see this piping? You see how this, this piping? It's supposed to be alternating like red, blue, red, blue, whatever. And they put like these streamers on it to compensate for that. I'm like, no, don't play with my food. Don't play with my money and don't play with my man. Don't play with my family either. No, no boo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But anyway, I'm just being silly y'all. But yeah, I am mad about this cake though because when you gonna pay your money for something, get what you asked for give me what i asked for don't give me just anything and then you go back around the table then you start working on what you're working on customer service what happened to customer service i'm saying get it together krogers i gotta get some tomatoes and some onions cut up here's my onion i gotta get cut up and then i gotta get my maters here's pugsley say happy fourth of july Happy 4th of July, Pete. Tell the people happy 4th of July, Pugsley. Really? I'm going to get up in your face and say it. Happy July. Happy 
Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July! I'm gonna get all up in your baby face. I'm gonna get all up in your baby face. But anyway, I told y'all I'm gonna get my mom uh, doing a doing a money tree for my mom. I, me and my uh, brother and sister, my sister, and my brothers. And this is what it looks like right as of right now. So don't judge. <laughs> Yes, it kind of looks a little scraggly right now, but as you can see, I got my burlap here that I'm going to um, glue. Then also, I got the corn prepared. This is going to my mom's house. We're going to have um, smoked chicken, um, corn, um, what else? Uh, I don't know why I want to say sweet potatoes, baked beans, corn, potato salad, a salad. This, these are my baked beans. These are just some extra. My sister is actually doing baked beans, but these are just extra just in case. gonna <laughs> does it look like a money tree to y'all got the little clothes pins on there and and it's 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 a rustic um we'll call it a rustic uh money tree because i like i like shabby chic stuff so we'll call this a rustic uh <laughs> this is a rustic money tree that's what we gonna call it so last suspected i am running late it is after one o'clock uh, 1 14 and I am super duper late well I'm gonna say super duper late but I mean all I had to bring was tomatoes and onions so surely this show is not gonna stop because somebody don't have no onions or no tomatoes but I'm on my way to the country or side of the country how are y'all doing today are y'all having a great 4th of July so far I hope y'all are my niece she's uh y'all send to say a little prayer for my niece christina she broke her wrist a couple days ago um at a park and she's uh had surgery yesterday and she's supposed to get released today but my sister says she's in a lot of pain um so just keep her in prayer on this fourth of july she's not feeling well it's my little my little niece little woodini that's a nickname. Hey, little Woodini. Hope you feel better, Christina. I know you see this video. I hope you feel better. Like I said, just on my way to the country. I'm gonna drop the food off at my grandma's house. Which my grandparents have passed away. I don't know if y'all told that. I don't have any grandparents. All my grandparents have passed away. But it is tradition that, uh, at least they made it a tradition that when they passed away, or even before they passed away, uh, that the kids would just keep it going and so we've been having fourth of july family get-togethers like all the family uh aunts uncles cousins uh ever since i was ever since i can remember i want to say ever since i was born maybe i don't know but it just became just a, you know a thing for my family you know we, when my grandparents passed away they we even have it on video that they requested that the family still keeps all of the fa family gatherings for all major holidays or all holidays going and to this day we still keep it going at their house uh, which is a farm so my grandparents live on the farm and they still keep it going so every 4th of July Memorial Day uh, whatever you know holiday we come together if my auntie she makes the whole menu of what everybody has to bring or request to bring and they come up everybody comes up they bring the food and eat and fellowship and laugh and talk and so it's 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 been a tradition and i am like i said 38 and <laughs> the tradition is still going so yeah shout out to my folks because a lot of people don't get together and you know with their families like that you know so i count that a blessing that i have you know family that i can see and go to and spend time with and, and things like that so a lot of people don't have that 
relationship with their families like that. And what you got planned for your birthday today? Just being cool, honey. Just being, being cool. cool. Being cool. Well, how does it feel to be the big 7-1? How is that different from the big 7-0? Ain't no different than whatsoever. It's all the same. You don't look at the people and, and, and say hello? Like they wishing you a happy birthday. <laughs> so we're about to get ready for the birthday party. So I'm about to light these candles. There you go, Cameron. There you are, it is. Mmm. Mmm. That good. I'm gonna let y'all see these decorations real quick before we get started. And show y'all the food. Can you take your cap off? I'll show y'all the cap off. Here, now you got a drink. Mm. All right, so it says mm. celebrating 71 years. Happy birthday, Mom. Mm. Got a salad over here, this big old pan of salad. Got some pasta. Got some potato salad here. And I showed y'all the corn. Corn already. And the chicken is in the oven now. Chicken. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Da 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 da. Birthday to you. Da 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 da. Happy birthday, dear mama, sister, will babu, auntie. Well, be thankful and blow these candles out. <laughs> you make a wish? Blow hard. Spit on that cake. All right. All right. Woo! Yeah. So we got you a little money tree. As you can see, there's some little monies on there. Some monetary, of monetary value. <laughs> you count it. <laughs> and I got you a card. Open your card, please. The other one, it was cheap. That's a big plate. Ain't that a big plate? You should, that, that's a one serving plate. You should only be able to get up one time and that's it. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm at my grandparents' house and it is a huge, huge property area. Um, I'm showing y'all, I'm walking in the backyard right now and this is like a massive, like, it's like a field. So I'm taking y'all towards the pond and I hope there is not a snake out here but let me just give y'all a view if you notice way back I want to try to zoom in see if I can zoom in if y'all can see yeah there we go if you can see that little white spot right there that is actually our family cemetery and you'll see the tractor and everything um, there used to be a lot more out here than what it is but there some years ago there was bad weather tornadoes there used to be a big barn right here that was torn down. Tree fell on it. Um, it was a huge tree. Right over in here used to be another huge tree. I think it may have been this tree right here. But I, I think there may have been another one. But anyway, there was a chicken coop. And they had some goats. The goats are gone. Chickens are gone. We had ducks. The ducks are gone. This pond is probably dried up by now. It, this sun is beaming oh man so it's good to see my family and everybody today we had a nice time it is so peaceful out here i hope there's no snakes around here it looks like it's about to rain but it looks like there's some water actually in this pond for once let me show y'all this pond is nasty i don't recommend what is that Sound like a goat. Uh, must be the other people's. 
Mm -hmm. I like that sound. I don't know where they're coming from. Anyway, that's the pond. It is hot, y'all. Oh, I got to get out this this heat. It's ridiculous. Oh. Let me get over here in some shade. So all of this countryside. And you'll see my grandparents' house. Watch and make sure there's no snakes. Oh. Anyway, my grandparents' house. Uh, they got some trees out here. It's supposed to be some fruit trees, but they have not grown. They have not done anything. And it looks like it's about to storm. So, ooh, let me get on this side. Y'all can't see me. So, I'm actually headed back to my parents' house because it is just way too hot out here. But had a nice time. My mom, she enjoyed herself. Looks like everybody's leaving. My mom, she enjoyed herself for her birthday. She had a good time. Yeah, everybody is gone. Like, there's not one. I think that was the last, my uncle, he was the last person to leave. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's hot. I'll see y'all when I get back down to the house. It is ridiculous hot out here. Ain't a home, it's only brick and stone. It takes more than love to build a family. Oh!